All the source code related to this video is available inside Riverpod implementation branch of the previous repository. So I definitely recommend you checking that out as well. In this video, you will learn how you can use Riverpod to make API requests from your Flutter application. So this is a continuation of the previous video of uh, API implementation for absolute beginners. If you haven't checked it out, you can go ahead and check this video out here. All right. So first and foremost, to get started with Riverpod, we'll have to first install Flutter Riverpod into our pubspec.yaml. So we'll copy it, go back to pubspec.yaml and paste it, right? And then we can run the command flutter pub get. Okay, once that's done, you will have to navigate back to your product repo and wrap it inside of a provider. You can say final product repo provider. And say provider and return the product repo right okay what else next you'll have to go back to your product controller and also create a provider for this and before creating a provider what we will do is since we are using riverpod we won't access the uh, product repo object this way instead we are going to have a, a private variable okay product repo of type product repo right and to assign it some value we'll use the constructor let's say required product repo product repo and then we will pass in the value like so this makes sure that uh, we are not accessing product repo from the product controller i mean outside the product controller right and then we need to have an underscore here as well that fixes everything right now let us create the provider for our product controller so we'll say final product controller provider provider right and first we need to get access to the product repo and we are going to use ref for that we'll say final product repo we'll say ref dot watch and again you can use watch or read as of now because uh, we are just making a very simple request right so let's go with watch we'll say product repo provider you are watching the product repo provider and you can hover your mouse on product repo just to check what type it is and it is of type product repo that's sweet so what we can do is we can now return the product controller yes and we can pass in the product repo in here right so now we have access to the product repo inside of our product controller we can close all these okay inside of our home widget all we need is a, a reference to ref so we need to get access to it and we can do so by changing the stateless widget to a consumer widget and this comes from our flutter river pod library so we will change it to consumer widget and inside of the build function we get access to the widget ref and in case if you're wondering what widget ref is it's just the way it's a, what you can say it's a window with, with which you can access all the providers inside of your application so over here what we will do is we won't read this object anymore so we'll say ref dot watch product controller provider dot get products right okay we can save this all right we are getting this warning that says no provider scope found all right to fix this issue all you have to go is to the uh, beginning of the application to the main file right and wrap the whole application with a provider scope so that it can uh, handle all the providers within that so we'll say wrap with widget and we'll say provider scope provider scope that comes from the riverpod library itself and then we can have a constant here right and then let's quickly restart the whole application just to see everything in action okay so this is how you can make use of riverpod to hit api requests in your flutter applications and if you have made it till here, do subscribe to our channel, do like this video. This is Dart Bucket signing off.